Hey guys, welcome to the free assets for the Unity Store for January, February 2021 and I have to sort of mix these two up because they're from the January actual placement but I'm featuring them in February because I'm always a month behind because the next month they will never be available if not. So if you do like these series, be sure to check out the rest of the playlist which has thousands of other great free assets available for Unity. Check out my community discord, Patreon and all the other great assets that I have on my Unity store. The first one is the Vehicles Low Poly, which is a collection of 10 low poly specifically styled vehicles with 4 muscle cars, 4 trucks and 2 hatchbacks with a collective total of around 20,000 trank. The next one is the Simple Stylized Grass Shader and this has features like translucency, LODs, a URP for use with shader graph, you can easily change the colours, use wind animations, have a fade out at distance and it allows translucency so you can see the sun through the actual leaves themselves. The next one is something called Audio Room. An Audio Room is instead of having points of sound which come from one particular area, this allows you to simulate a full room of audio where the audio would come for from several points which could make it sound like you were in sort of a party environment where everywhere where there's a sound where it bounces off different areas. So it allows you to create things like rain, forest noises, specific ambience, drones, just so many different aspects specs and these come in box, sphere, point or you can add your own specific volume. The next one is called the loading screen package and it contains 12 different loading screens that were tested on mobile for Android and iOS and any other platform and these have animations and you can set the white colour and the different sizes of the screen to select wider and it comes with landscape, portrait, 12 prefabs, a demo scene and everything you need in there to get this going. The next one is something called Event System Free and this is an independent system which allows for fast convenient approach to creating and implementing game events and it can be based on one particular asset and it can be added in a couple of clicks. It's a plugin which allows you to pass parameters, classes, structures or components and it allows for ease of use to be able to create game events like this. The next one is the called the Kineractive Hands Free and it's part of a bigger pack which is the paid version and this just is just minus the procedural hand animation but this includes everything where you need to be able to interact with doors, handles, buttons, levers which need an interaction which you can move around yourself with a kinematic style. The next one is the isometric nature pack which include a bunch of tiles for rivers, lakes, roads, stones, trees, bushes, cactuses, deserts, loads of landscapes across there, specifically for a desert and a forest biome, including little cute clouds and a nice little style. The next one is something called RTS 3D Select, which is a starting point for creating any RTS or real-time strategy game, and it can be used for selecting multiple units, enemies, whatever you need to, and drag across the screen to be able to select and do something from there. The next one is the GBX Coupe HDRP which is a high definition render pipeline asset and this is a car which is around 6 million polygons which has an interior, exterior, doors, bonnet, trunk, wheels and tyres. The next one is the circular scrolling list for displaying an infinite number of contents in just a few list items and it supports for both vertical and horizontal directions. It can support both circular and linear modes, three control modes for dragging, mouse wheel and other things with specific callbacks and an animation to actually do the movement itself. The next one is something called Minesweeper and it's entire game template with complete code source, animated transitions, animated user interface with a complete look of exactly how you'd create Minesweeper from a really classic game back in the day. The next one is something called Prototype Hero Demo Pixel Art which includes a professional looking prototype basic character which includes idle, run, stop, jumps, falls and also features audios, dust particles and an option to hide the sword that you might have. So the next one is the URP stylized water shader from the Proto series and this is a water shader used in the Proto series Cube World assets which you can find on the Unity Store or following this asset and it's suitable for 2019 and above. 
and it's a really nice looking stylized water that might be good for you. So be sure to check out all of these fantastic assets and there was many many more. I'll leave all the links in the description for you to check these out. Be sure to check out my great assets on the Unity store, join me on Discord, support me on Patreon if you like the channel, but most of all thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.